update on the fuel system. So I got my AN, well they're quarter inch NTP to dash six. Those are plumbed in. Got my spacers in. Got my clamps to the frame. This is clamped, these are clamped, and then they're held together on either side. And then it runs all the way up to the front. Don't pay attention to the headers. We're not doing that today. Today we're working on brakes. More plumbing. Well, technically, exhaust is plumbing. So you're gonna need hose long enough to account for full rotations and up and downs. So this will work just fine, and I think I'm gonna mount it about right here because it feels good. And then what you have to pay attention to is your fitting. So there's a single flare or a double flare. One looks like a mushroom, one looks like a cone. So this one's running the cone. So the flare on this fitting is like this, right? Inside there. So we're gonna have to make a brake line it's like this so that it'll fit in there and seal up and then on your booster you have to look in here so these are the same style it's the inverted flare so brake line bending there's all sorts of tools there's all sorts of different materials to use there's the green stuff from the auto parts, they're stainless, and then this is nickel copper. So this is 3 16 because that's the kind of fittings we're using. These are 3 8 by 16, so they're pretty common. They'll be the same all the way out through the truck. So first, you could use this just like this and bend it as you go. It's not that hard to bend and you can bend it pretty straight just by messing around with it and getting you know but we're gonna run it through a straightener real fast and see how that does so you can use this by holding it or you can clamp it in a vise don't kink your hose or line and then you just pull it through and so there's an adjuster wheel here and you can see how this is arcing over it's not straight it's straight enough for me but you can run it back and then you crank this little thing up a little bit and that gives you the upward tension And now it's more straight. And so like you see this hard bend here, when it comes through the other side, it's pretty much gone. Now what's happening is the weight of our line is starting to bring it down. And this is 25 foot, not on a 25 foot of space in the shop but we'll do most of it. We'll just leave this for now. So it's art, but it's no longer coiled. Then we can straighten it some more if we need, when we need to, we can straighten it some more. 
It's yours. You build it the way you want it. So what I want to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to make a measurement. cut off about three foot seven that's a little bit long but better long than short and then touch up the ends no sharp edges so a little sandpaper deburr the inside and then we have a piece of relatively straight I'm gonna run it through there again and see what happens. So on this booster, these are the front brakes and these are the rear brakes. So we're gonna come out and go that way. And I'm gonna try to keep it symmetrical. So this one's gonna run that side, that one's gonna run that side, and then, you know, same, same. So it's less confusing, I guess, if you have to ever work on it again. So if we start here, we're going to need a 90 degree bend that goes that way. When you get into these things with these tight radiuses, you're going to want to keep your fitting up at the front. And it's probably a good idea to put it on first. But since this stuff is pretty soft, we'll goof around and try to get some bends going and see how it looks. And then if we don't like it, we'll run it back through the straightener. So this is our tool. And you can see that it's about the perfect size for this bend. So if we stick the end of the hose here and then bend it around at 90, that should get us this way. Everything after this, it's going to get a little bit more difficult, but you know, let's start out easy. So I'm going to give myself a little extra because of the crimps. And then we're just going to hold this here and bend this around to 90 ish. Go a little bit more because it springs back. Now, if we take these, shove it through the hole, reduce it a little bit long, and that's okay because we're going to lose some of this in the crib. But I want this to be more 90 esque. I'm going to get my fitting on here, we're going to do some flaring, and then we're going to attach this go back over that way mark some stuff up to where we want to bend over and around and then we'll keep going this is going to happen all right it's just the way brake line bending goes but i'm not going to get that fitting around this curve so put your fitting on first you'll forget and you're going to do it over again like i just almost did Okay, that was about 45 minutes of me looking for the fittings that were exactly where I put them. I just kept looking over them. So, I'm not crazy. I don't need to be institutionalized. So, this goes on like so. And I just use the lip to push it down. And that's pretty much it.
You don't need a vise, but it helps. So now what we have to do first is make the mushroom or what they call a single flare. So this is gonna go in here. And then this slips around and over. And then we wanna make a flare. So we just crank this down until it's flat, flush. So that's our double or our single flare. So it's a mushroom looking thing. This is like on the Fiat car. It uses this style. So now what we have to do is make the cone in. So then we just use our tool again, line it up. And then we're gonna cave that in. So now we have our cone, and this is what fits over the brake fitting inside the hose or inside the master cylinder. So we're ready to put this one in loose, and then we can keep on going. Oh, we're good. I think that'll do it. And then this is on here for fitment purposes. And I know what you're thinking. And that's really close to that exhaust header. I agree it is. But I got a, I got a thing or two for that. And yeah, you're probably looking at this clearance right here. I'm probably going to have to relief this and this so probably the next thing i need to do is go ahead and set my hose where i want it
So basically what we have to do now is come up, over, and around. So I'm going to put a mark here with a Sharpie. fix it. So I know that was fun. I don't really like it. I wanted this to be straight. I think we'll run it for now.